Hey guys, just about every day now I get either a comment, a PM, an email, or a question over on my Facebook page about pollinating vegetables inside the greenhouse. So what I'm going to do is take a few minutes and try to just explain what I do and let you know how simple it really is. The things that I grow here in the greenhouse, tomatoes, peppers, the eggplants, those are members of the nightshade family. They are virtually self-pollinating. The only thing you need is some type of vibration to get that pollen to drop down and fertilize that flower. You can do it with a cordless toothbrush to come along and tap those blossoms, get them to vibrate in a little bit. Uh, you can take your finger, you can thump them, you can just shake the whole plant. Basically what you're trying to do is mimic the effects of the wind outside. Will it help to have bees in your greenhouse to do that pollinating for you? Absolutely, because they're going to do a better job, a more thorough job than what you would do. They would be on it every day whereas you probably do it today and then skip a day and then come back again and skip a few more days. Bees will always do a much more thorough job, but they are not necessary for a home gardener greenhouse growing. The other things like squash, zucchini, uh, any type of melons, pumpkins, uh, those for the most part, they do need bees to do the pollinating with the exception of parthenocarpic varieties. Those are varieties that will set the fruit without the bees having any effect on them. Uh, there's a variety of a zucchini called Parthenon that will set fruit just fine, no bees involved, and you don't have to do any hand pollinating. Uh, melons, I grew them in a the small greenhouse this year, the big watermelons. They came out great, but I dedicated the entire greenhouse to growing those things. Not many people will want to do that, and it's not something that I would recommend. Also, I timed the production of those things. Uh, the fruiting part, as far as when they started flowering, I timed that with raising the curtains, warm weather, so that the bees could come inside and do the pollinating. I did not want to have to go by one at a time and try to pollinate those little bitty flowers. I wanted to raise the curtains, let the bees come in, and do it that way. If I had to do it myself, I would not grow them inside. Cucumbers, the cucumbers that I grow inside of a greenhouse, they are all parthenocarpic varieties, meaning they set fruit without any outside pollination. For varieties, there's all kinds of little small pickling or gherkin cucumbers, the medium slicers, even up to the big English cucumbers. Any kind of cucumber you want to grow, there is a parthenocarpic variety out there that will suit your needs. A good place to look is uh, Johnny Seeds. They have a tremendous selection of seeds and especially the cucumbers. Uh, any kind of tomato you wanted to buy, Johnny Seeds probably has it. So that pretty much covers it. as far as pollination goes in a greenhouse. I don't have any bees. I have no plans for any bees and I don't need any bees to get the kind of production that I get. I do just fine. I grow the varieties of cucumbers where it's not an issue. If I want to grow zucchini, I'll grow Parthenon and my tomatoes, peppers and things like that. Just some type of shaking vibration. They get pollinated and everything is fine. So don't let pollination uh, be a deciding factor or something keeping you from pursuing uh, growing inside of a greenhouse is not the least bit complicated. Y'all take care and Lord willing, I'll see you next time.